Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Sitting here looking at our new church. I didn't get in and redo the fencing yet. I thought I'd go ahead and do that on camera. I thought maybe we would... Though I do wish this was a different, a different look to this structure here. I was thinking about this fence. I just don't know how well that works. I guess it could work. It sure plays with the... Uh, the slope of the land kind of bends the fence around a lot which I guess maybe is meant to make it look a little more realistic anyway let's think about this and a dozen other things that are happening out there all at the same time so I'm gonna run it nice and slow while I figure this all out let's throw away all the fencing right now if I can get it and we've got trees and other things Wow I'm clicking all over there that are going to interact with the new fence we don't want people to be able to walk through here anymore. So that goes away, that goes away. Fences are so hard to grab. No, there we go. We don't want folks walking on others' graves. So to have an opening at the back end means that, come on now, that they're gonna walk through because it's the shortest path. All right, so that's all of the original fencing out of there. Let's... Where to? So we don't have to keep, like, this guy exactly where it is now. How best to aim this? Probably from an angle like this. Let's go with that new white one. New brick and iron. And we want a good-sized road that heads through here. And then, of course, our road right here. So where is that corner? This building. About like so. That width is there. Let's go with that. You're there to this point, and it's not auto-snapping. Interesting. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So, no, I don't think so. Let's go out to here. What does that look like? More like that. Okay. And I even want to do that. I don't think I want it to go to that post. Though that's interesting. It, it takes the place of the post. So you, if you were able to do that on both sides, it'd make a whole new archway out of it. But I think we want to go just shy, so let's hit the alt and do something like that. Though I don't know if it's going to let us go around that tree. Oh! Place is too, oh, it's too long, okay. So too long lands at about here, okay. So in that case, the aim is to here. So right over here. And then we'll take it the rest of the way. Okay, so you, again, are somewhere around here. It doesn't seem to want to force me to chop a tree down. So I guess we'll just take it. You're going to go there and come across and land something like this. And then you're going to shoot across, but I can't. Okay. So I can't grab a new corner. All right, pull out of that and... Oh, putting in fences through trees is so tough. Yeah. Okay, so... You hit the corner? No, you're a little shy, so you're about there. You hit the side of the building. But straightness-wise, you're something like this. Okay, from here, we want to follow this fence line. So that tree actually should have been on the inside. Yeah. So let's give me a marker 
straight. Looks something like... Well, let's just go to a corner. So you really needed to be about there. So you now shoot off like this. Out to too long. Okay. So... That roadway over there... All these trees! Is something like that. Where is too long? Right in there. I think we're something like that. Okay. Then you head into... Where is that point? Probably about there. And then something like... Well, we probably want an archway at this point. So let's just pull out. Okay. So you needed to leave... Oh, I see. We could leave it. It's just that they're not going to be even. Okay. So let's grab a new copy of you. And snap you to there and take you to there. And that should even out the distances between them. And front to back... I think it's about there. Okay. Cancel you. And... We'll do that with the arch over here. We'll put the uh, the fence right up to it and make it part of the fence post. Okay, so arch. And it was a short one. Something like that. And to... Let's line it up with this building over here. And maybe we'll redo the, the fencing a little bit. Boy, I don't know if I like that. Dare we put the big... Uh, wrong keys. Dare we put the big one in? It's fancy. We could do a fancy one. That's the alignment. Or do we go straight across and then bump or something? I feel like I, I want it to be parallel with the building. But this is the road. That's probably it, but I think I should kick it in some. Something like that, and we'll move this fence back a little bit. But let's see what this looks like. You're going from there. Yeah, that doesn't line up. Hmm. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. And alignment-wise, this guy's a little bit too long. So let's, let's do it this way. Let's go from... Where's the right spot? It's, it's interesting the way the, the fences will build on top of each other. So you can do something like this to snap into there and then pull out and then grab this one and delete it so that you can figure out where you were. So let's put a partial fence in and then we'll align the archway to that. So you're going to go to there. So I want you right there. I want you right there and there. We'll get rid of the middle section and see just how close I guessed. So you, big fancy arch, rotate into there and... That looks pretty well aligned. Warehouse is finished. And broke hand. Okay, I want to watch that one. Got a comment that said that the doctors make house visits. And I want to see if I can see that happen. Um, you're just a tiny bit off. Right in there. And center is the top ornamental part of the arch. So I'd say that's lined up pretty good with the door. So you're going to go there, and then you are going to go away, and you are going to go away. And we're going to get you and snap you to there, and bring you to there. Pull out, snap you to here, 
and bring you to there. And it definitely looks crooked, but I think I'm going to live with it. And somebody's already kind of freaked out around there and left white string all over the place. <laughs> yeah, we're off a tiny bit here. This needs to go into about right there, but I'm going to call that good for now and not do anything more with it and see if it grows on me. I'm still not convinced I like it, but it's just the, the shape here. Maybe we need to be a diagonal. Oh, that's the answer, isn't it? We need to be right here with the entrance. Uh, archway. Something like that. that was, that's, is that what it should be? Or maybe turned a little bit, aiming right at this guy. So something kind of like that. That's probably more the answer, but I don't know. Let me know what you think if I don't get back to this before this episode's over. Anyway, broke hand. So, right there, you are on your way home. We're running nice and slow. Uh, broken hand, you are not looking for a job. And getting a drink of water. Okay. So, you're going to head home. Supposedly, the surgeon will go to their home. And if I had been paying attention to that, when we were watching this guy over here, we would have seen a visitor camp come and go. And then... the then it would have mentioned that he's on the mend. So that's what's supposed to happen. Otherwise, the folks that were coming in here that weren't this guy, the theory is that is, is they're getting a haircut. This is a barber surgery, not just a surgery. So didn't necessarily go there to see a doctor. Could have gone there just to get a haircut. And he's looking mighty dapper, so I'd say that's, that's quite possible. So, wow, we are... All kinds of lines having to do with the church. I'm guessing all these people were on their way to go to the church and then couldn't because somebody stuck a fence in the way. I think that's probably what happened. What do you think of the white fence there? I'm not convinced I like it. I don't think it goes well with the building. I, I just don't. I don't want a three rail fence. Maybe it's this one. Maybe that should be the fence that's here. Though that looks more like a house fence. I mean, this does look more like something that would be surrounding a, a cemetery. Do we stop it at a certain point? And then go with another fence for the front? I don't know. How do we make this look better? It just... The two architectures don't match to me. And they, it just looks kind of odd. But, I don't know, let me know your thoughts on this, and, and uh, that everything can be adjusted. There used to be a cow shed here. Everything can be adjusted. <laughs> anyway, speaking of adjustments, and I'm sure there's a few other things I should be checking up on. Let's, let's go here real quick one more time. Broken Hand is on the way home to here. So, when you get here, you will most likely... Oh, you're visiting a church... It was... Was it you? I assume it was you. So you're visiting a church, going in. And... Speed you up a bit. Broken hand. You're over here. Okay. Has broken hand. Getting a drink of water. And... Back inside, carrying water. Okay. And you are... Has broken hand. So you're going to go find a bench to sit at. Right there. So let's do this now. And just see if someone from the barber surgery goes over to him or to his house. That is you? No, no, it isn't. Now you just left. You're going back home again. You are this one, okay. And no, not you. Okay, let's stop. That is you. And has broken hand still, okay. And you are going where now? Taking a rest. <clears throat> Gonna go find another park bench. Okay, barber surgery. Ah, you're both there. Is it happening? Is this the transaction? <laughs> Has broken hand? Or are you just by coincidence or sitting next to each other? 
All right, let's just see what happens here. You left and you still have a broken hand. Okay. So you're going to go back home one more time. And still no interaction. You're heading back in. And you are taking another rest. Nobody over here is coming toward you. You're going to go sit at that bench again. So I wonder how many times until their schedules just happen to line up. Um, Paniotini. Uh, you know, although you're going back to the bench. No, well, what'd you do? Um, one more time. You, you, sitting there, has broken hand. You. Hmm. So I'm not seeing any interaction between the two of them at this point. And I also see I need to get a lot more benches out here. Okay, so that hasn't happened, and it is you. You've gone back home again, still have a broken hand. Are you going to go see a doctor? No, you're going to go sit again. And you are still not interacting with him sitting right there. He's on the bench. Supposedly at the point where it transitions from broken hand to a mending hand, they will interact with each other. Though I still don't see... Though you did just go into a house. Why did you do that? You don't live there, but you went in... Oh, probably one of the kids? Uh, ten years old, yeah. Most likely that was it. Okay, so you are sitting here. You're, you're off doing something else again. You guys still are not interacting with them. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know what to make of that. It might take half the episode to track that down. Anyway, slow down and let's see what we have going on here. World map. No, you're over here. It's this town. Okay. So you want to sell us salt, iron, honey. Honey, we should be over a thousand. We are 766, and we're going to start collecting it. We're at the end of our year for honey. September, I think, is when I've heard the honey comes in. So, cancel you, mead. You're offering mead, yes. Yeah. So let's get 2,500. And deal. So, mead is coming in. Window glass, we're still sitting on over 1,200. Okay. Dried fish, we are sitting on plenty. And you want from us... Sunflower oil. All right, let's give you 1,000. Right there. And deal. And 1,000 sunflower oil. There you are. And temporary stock. Okay. Are we running? We're running slow. Okay. Uh, flour. 1,000. Let's keep about 500 in town since flour goes bad. So deal there and let's throw 500 into here. Flour. There you are. Temporary. And what else? Warm clothes, clothes, broadcloth, cello, onions. Uh, that's not till October. And I'm pretty sure we can eat all of our own vegetables at this point. Apples. Apples are happening. All right, let's put 4,000 apples in here. That didn't work. So you'll take 3083. Deal. 3083. All right, get moving on that. We are into July. And we're just finishing. So when August hits, we'll have a whole bunch of people without uh, jobs. And we'll probably see a bunch of laborers jump into here and start grabbing apples. What else do you guys want? Apples, lime, beer, and that is it. Okay, sounds good. Um, any other unfinished business from last time? You guys have gone broke. You're negative 0.18 right now, so you're still having trouble. Okay, well, let's get you food money, and let's take this down one more notch. So, treasury... And barber surgeries, let's take you down to five. We just don't have the population over there to support him. And the wealth tax is just going to have to uh, do for bringing taxes in from those sales. 
Okay, so we are building another row house similar to this one. That one's being worked on. Peek in the windows there. And it was brought up that this three-story that I set last time with the arcade. wondered if the arcade would look better inside since there's no back staircase. So there's a... Well, that is the back staircase there, so there's no front staircase. So would the staircase out the front... Oh, apparently I did set it that way. Because I see the staircase is out the, uh, out the back here. Okay. So where should the arcade be, was the question. And that's the way it's set up right now. And actually that kind of works since the barber surgery doesn't have a back stairs either. So no matter which way I set it, it's going to look funny. Because none of the other buildings are like it. It's just to quickly get one in there so we can see it. But I think that is probably the best just because it puts the staircase out the front which the other ones are going to have a, a little bit bigger version of that I don't know because the barber surgery doesn't have one then it doesn't really make a difference there's it's not like it's the only building that doesn't have where am I going T it's not like it's the only building that doesn't have a uh, you know a staircase out the back side so no matter what I do, it's it's you know six of one, half a dozen of another, I think. So I think we'll go ahead and leave it rather than try to place it, replace that again. All right, so that's that one. Um, okay, now I need to figure out how to resume this video. <laughs> Had a phone call. Actually, I did some time traveling. I about ten minutes from now, the phone rang and interrupted everything. And <laughs> I then went back and I stopped the recording, went and played the recording at the end to see where I was. And I was out over here somewhere trying to place a forestry. And so I was about to try to finish that sentence and you know, hit, hit record again and accidentally hit the exit instead of the continue and lost everything up to the last uh, autosave. So we... I believe we were talking about this row house and decided to keep it there. I swung over, peeked at this one more time, and then I went off over this direction. So I'll try to recreate everything that I just lost. Anyway, a comment came in talking about the tannery, and maybe I'm getting a little bit too aggressive here as far as trying to get four sheep's worth of, um, of sheepskin. Sheep hides what are these officially called these are sheep hides in there before they start to rot here's one sheep hide that i assume has been done fairly recently and there's almost no rot on there at all so i think there's enough time and we're already where are we at now uh 25 of 30 it'll be a while before the next ones go in but one just got walked away don't know where you're at but there should be a sheep walking up here somewhere and two more are there one is up there so i think we're going to be fine there's a i believe there's a whole batch worth ready to go it's just a matter of whether or not we want a third person i don't think we're going to see these these bursts very often i did a bunch of rams to get more ewes but what, what are we calling them just sheep Sheep and rams, okay. So, just to get some more sheep in there so there's more milk in you. They all have wool, I know that. But we can get more milk in there for the same amount of wool. So, I think I'd rather go that route. But, I mean, they're going to be... Once we hit 30, and we were at 30 when that happened, I believe, they're going to be taking randomly sheep and rams. So, if I have to choose, I'd rather choose the rams. Um, so these two are yet to go, and we've got for more rams even further down. So there's there's lots more to choose from. Anyway, um, up in here, how are we doing? We are building up for one more. We've got no cow hides yet. And I believe there was an old bowl that I just clicked in in between episodes. I don't know where that one went, or maybe that one finished off this one right here. That could be it. So I think we're fine. With the 200 or 300 here and 200 there. That's three cows and four sheep. I think it will work. If if not, I'll adjust that later. 
but I think we're going to be okay. Otherwise, um, one other thing I talked about. That's right, I'm playing catch-up now. A lot of deja vu going on. I hate deja vu. Uh, we've got a little over 1,100 wool backed up, and we're already into August. So, speaking of into August, you have lots of labors, and you guys are starting to work over here. Okay. And I'm running slow, too, so that's, that's why. Um, we've been there, right? Now I don't know. Oh, deja vu. Um... Anyway, so you are running, and I decided to put in a second worker over here, which will hire probably when the, when the harvests are done. So then I went over here and started talking about a farm. And I do think that I want another farm over here. I think that's the job that these guys need. There's still usually a few of them that are unemployed out over here, the furthest away from all the other ones. So at the moment, they're all laborers because they're all working in the farms. But that's only twice a year. So otherwise, they sit around, not much to do, and and uh, just, in fact, well, we, we've built up 42 over here. So we are amassing some, some income. So it's not like they're not finding work. Yeah, they're all covering their their uh, their household needs very nicely and to the point that they're actually paying wealth tax over here. Well, that's good to see. Okay. But still, I think this um, employee base over here, worker base, would work a farm really well. But I want the farm as close to it as I can. So if I had, for instance, built this farm over here, then and and still left the fields over here we would have never had any problem with this from the very beginning they would have been if i had known that there was such a distance issue with some of the the places of work then you know i would have done that so they would have been sitting here or here or something like that and we would have gotten pl you know plenty of laborers from the very beginning even though they'd have to walk a little further to go to their field to do their work so the, the problem is distance there, a little bit more travel time, but they would have been hired. We couldn't get them even hired when it was over here. So learned that lesson. So if we were to put another farm in, we would definitely want it to be right over here. And I spent about five minutes hemming and hawing about where this farm goes. And now that I've done all that, I know exactly where this farm goes. <laughs> um, actually, it goes like this. And it aligns with this. So, yeah, there are some benefits to being a time traveler. So, I lined it up like so. And actually, it looked pretty good. So, about the same width of the, of the road up there. This could be a major road at some time. So, a touch right there sets you in. And we could go over here and maybe even bridge across at some point so what I was what brought this whole thing up was the discussion of how to take these trees out one thing that was suggested in the comments was to take something like the cow shed or even the dairy a long narrow building and drop let's see here TR drop this into the forest boom 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 and they just delete the building as they take the trees down rather than set a whole bunch of little tiny projects so we'd only get five or six more boxes up here in the top instead of 200 little tiny boxes up in the top so that's one way to build this trail but who's going to cut the wood who's going to cut the trees these guys aren't i've yet to see them work on a a building project in, in a long time, but they will do the red X's until they hit 18. So we, we've it's worked out pretty well recently. These guys will do the building projects, but they're just too far away. Yeah. So I think we need a third one temporarily. That's the way I'm gonna gonna do this one. So you are there, and not where the bridge is going to go. If a bridge goes in. In case that bridge goes in before we finish all the our use of this particular um, forestry, so let's kick you out as far as here. Now, does a farm field go here? And this is right about the point when my phone went off. 
and I was charging it on my desk right here and it was quite 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 loud so there was no covering for that one and then everything just went downhill from there <laughs> Okay, let's just drop you in right there, and let's move you up into the list before that that uh, clay pit over there. And we're probably getting pretty close to finishing this guy off. And I turn my volume down a bit. There we go. Okay, I think I am over the deja vu. I, I hope I cut it all. Okay, trying to repeat everything I did once and just give you the abbreviated version. So less... Uh, Sitting here scratching my head, figuring things out. Now these guys are going to need water, and this is really meant to be citizens only. So let's give... Yeah. The bridge, if there is a bridge here, this would be a great place to do the, the stone bridge, just to see it. Though, I did notice because there's such an extreme difference in elevation that this coming off of here has got to go all the way out over here. Kind of like this one. You know, all actually this one, it's all lowland over here. So to get from this elevation to this elevation, we had to go all the way into here to do it. So it is unfortunate that there's such a difference. A bridge from here to here would look a lot better. But this is the main road coming out this end. So it makes sense that this is where a bridge would come across to get over to this side. I mean, there is a huge area over here if we decide to use it. In fact, this is a place that I would almost call a, a great start location for this map. Just to give you a big, flat area to build. Didn't have to take near as many trees down as we did over here. I mean, this is a this was a narrow little area. It was just right here. We, we pulled all these trees out. So just a little area right in there that went down the hill. Back into there. So this is a much bigger start area for this map. Huge. That's probably comparable to everything we built so far real close now it's a long way away from the entrance of the map and long way away to a river trader yeah but I like this area so this would be the natural place to come across come on map shoot across like that and at the very least set up a forestry and just bring all kinds of wood in once we're no longer cutting up our forest because we have to and we start building out here where we don't have forests that we have to take down we may eventually be looking for a place to, to cut logs and I think that's it so we can kind of leave although this area right here would supply logs for a long long time which might be what this thing is really meant to do. Maybe it's meant to supply logs for a while. In which case, that's why I'm running slow, in case I change my mind here, should this be in the woods a little bit instead? Let's play with that idea. Where are you? Click, click, click. There you are. Um, in that case, rotate you around to... That's eight trees to get you going. And that gives us a reason for a road back here. That road would naturally just probably cut a diagonal through anyway, so we could do a diagonal like that. Huh. I mean, there's a lot of work, a lot of trees to come down, but it feels like there's a reason for it now. And just have it take trees out for a little while. Um... So there's that. We could make them walk around and give it a reason to start building up this road right here and then curve in and put it right here. There's probably less trees to come out. Let's play with that one. So six trees, five trees, four trees and it's right there. Let's do that instead. You go away. There you are. Demolish you. Put you right up in there. And this guy is just about finished. Yeah, staircase down. 
getting there. I feel like, oh, we're still in August. We're still in harvest season. That's why it's taking a while. Okay. So we can speed that up again. And you, the farm, could go in next. I mean, it's possible we could try this for next growing season. It may be time to get at least some of these fields in. And then once we get this established and get our rotations going, we could set, we could get the uh, the next cow shed filling up. And we've got enough of a budget. We could just buy some cows in if we wanted to. Don't have to uh, do it the uh, the old-fashioned way and grow them ourselves. Dracachi, let's slow you down and think about things. So you want to sell us and you want to buy from us. How are we doing on charcoal? We're doing pretty good there. Let's go ahead and just get that one going and get you and get your carts on the way. So you are selling salt, lime, leather. So leather, iron, leather and iron. We have no potatoes this year. We could bring in a few just to sell in our own markets. Uh, leather and iron. Right there, HI 700 iron and 24 leather. <laughs> okay, let's do the leather. Where am I? Over here. So, world map, let's do 2,000 leather. Oh, I wish I... Apparently, I, I always click out here in this space and drag across. Oh, now it works. Now it works every single time. But when I do that, in, yeah, it's every time it's working now. For some reason, when I first get there, that click never works. And then I click again, and it doesn't work. And I try to pull the other direction, and it doesn't work. And then finally, it works. So, oh, that's frustrating. 2,000 leather, 500... That leaves us with seven and a half thousand deal. No iron and sallow usually sits right here, so we're out. So let's do 600 sallow, give us variety. And let's do 600 potatoes, we have none. So they, they rot if we keep a whole harvest's worth, but 600 we should be able to eat through and give more food variety to our town. All right, so you want wheat, you want shoes. Let's do 1,000 shoes with to pay for the leather that we just bought. So deal and 1,000 shoes. And there's still 10 salt sitting there from an, an old one. Okay, so 1,000 shoes on their way in, and that's already happening. Um, now, there was a sale from here, and it did happen. Okay, good. I tried to remember what I missed from, you know, everything happened prior to that autosave. Okay, so good. We're dealing with this one now. And so did the apples come in? I guess that's, oh, you're over here. That's what's different. So there were 4,000 apples. Okay. No, there were 3083 apples. That's right. I remember that now. 3083. And they all made it in. Okay. And window glass is about gone. But I had window glass moved into here. And it did happen. Okay. So we're not out. They're just finally putting it where it belongs. Okay. Good. So back to Dirkachi, was it? Yeah. All right. So you want to buy charcoal, chicken eggs, sunflower oil. Let's, we'll keep that. Clothes, we're at 220 now. Good. Honey, we're at 700. September, that starts building again. Apples. That's another 3,300 apples. On top of so if I were to do I can't so oh I've got that right let me look at that again it's not an export stock even though over here it is because it's a different export it's a different trader so it's not in this traders export stock I got that one right so there is yet another 3300 apples all right, well, let's get 2,500 of that moved into this one. Apples. Okay. Um, I 
feel like if I got apples moved into here intentionally, it would be that much quicker. So, 10,000 apples into here. And buy them. Okay. Move directly, because they're not in these, right? Oh, they are in these. Let's pull out of here and see if there's anything more to add. There's not. Okay. So apples move into the big one. And we've got more workers to go out and actively collect them and bring them in. Okay. I think that's probably a wise thing to do. So you're done there. And... Turlka. So we did get mead coming in from here. And it's on its way. And you haven't got to the apples yet. Sunflower oil... Okay, so everything's as it should be there, and as it should be here. Charcoal is the only thing that we've sold, so except for the shoes and apples. And shoes and apples made the list. Okay, so we're good there then. Now, there were no metal parts. There were no other things that I just kind of blanked out, right? Uh, world map, and there are metal parts. So where are we he there now? Uh, right here. How are we? Now we're back up to 236. Okay, I'd say we have got ahead of the curve and there are no more exclamation points angry that carts aren't available. You are needing water. You built. Vacant. We have a, a family. I assume it's one of our families. So two vacants. Oh, I know one thing that came up in the comments was that... Oh, and I had built the fence. Cool. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to start the entire episode over, and I was sitting down to do that when I realized auto saves. But then I had to figure out what I did prior to that auto save. But anyway, for this to hire, they need to move into town. And unfortunately, the closest house is going to be all the way over there. So we may have to do some creative uh, um, finagling here. We may have to move like this family who's got 71 and could move over there and then leave this let's wait let's wait for a priest's family to move in then maybe we will transition them to this house right here okay we might have to manually do that okay but yeah that's, that's these are the houses that are available right now what is next in the list forestry is and we can't build it because there's still trees to come down. So there's still trees to come down there too. So we're back in line for this one. And who is in charge of that? So what are you guys doing? You, none of you are over here. Uh, chopping a tree. You're on your way to what? You're going to come down the bridge, right? Uh, we got a couple that is married. You're you're just going off chopping trees. Oh, you're you're doing the next building site that's near you. Okay. So what are you guys doing? You're taking a rest. <laughs> yeah, it's September. So who's in charge of of this building site? These guys are off doing these building sites uh, over here. Oh, I've kind of lost them now. Uh, click there, and boy, I have lost you. You are already on your way back. So you were taking out. I assume you were working right here. Yes, yeah, so it's just that one. This one left. Oh, I guess the top of these. Okay, but these are all the way back into here. Maybe they were already doing that before I set this in place. So that was already in their list. And I've been running on slow mo I know, speed one all this time. So it's very possible that's what happened. And they'll be moving over here next. So I really could use a job for them to do. Okay, now you, whichever one is out of the firewood, I'm curious to see if you are going to walk over to the forestry and get some. No, you didn't. Okay. And you are on your way to somewhere. A child has been born. We are at 280-something. Um, what was that? Born and have married. So another family. 
good. You are just off, going off to do something. What'd you do? You are a laborer and you're moving hay. Okay. Um, right there. And you work in the salt works now. So none of you are going to go get firewood. And you're moving the hay directly into your, your husband's work space there to feed their oxen. That was interesting. Now she probably, I'm assuming she's going to go into here and get firewood. I'd really like to see that. Meanwhile, I'm stalling while they are building an ashery. There we go. And I'm hesitant to open up another row house yet. As much as I would love to see this row house, I want to see the archway. But that's another three families moving in. And I do need to get some more big yards going, I feel like, before we get too many more row houses going, which was the intent for all of these. These were going to provide a whole bunch, where are the flags, are right here, whole bunch of gardens. That was, that was the hope there. And then that would eventually get moved into the central market. But that just didn't happen in the timing that I had planned. We ended up going this route instead, and now we're going this route. So things do change. Plans are not always set in concrete. Anyway, she'll eventually find her firewood. And I suppose it's way too late to talk to old Broken Arm, right? I don't even know where that was now. Uh, visiting Forestry Arch Hand. You are visiting a church and unemployed, but it doesn't say anything about having a... Oh, well, you're unemployed because it's September. Yeah, so you're visiting a church. Okay, so I wonder if they're going to gravitate to this one and skip all of these now. I wonder if that is truly a thing. They all stop at the bottom, like they're crossing themselves. Look at that. Interesting. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, that's that's the uh, the popular place now. I wonder if their uh, income has dropped. <laughs> oh, the tavern. Anyway, um, I, I feel like I just lost control of the whole rest of this episode now. So we are building an ashery just to give these guys something to do. And there's only four of them, so it's a great time to, to be out of work. But did you guys ever get a new job? Yes. Where are you? No, you're visiting a church. You're working, you're working, you're working. Working at what? Uh... Oh, you're right here. You're not doing anything. Peeling bark from a log, so we're making some quick bark. Okay. Taking a rest. I want to know if we've somehow swapped roles. And now this is the forestry that won't do anything. Kind of makes me wonder. Did someone else get this assignment? Because they aren't even trying. So someone's taken logs down. I have a f suspicion that we've switched over. Yeah, I think we have. Now, does that mean they're going to skip the rest of the red X's? So let's wait until partner gets to work and see if they go off to do one log. If you can get there before that bar runs out. So is that you right there? No, you're a ways away. You're still on the bridge. Oh, it's going to be close. Okay, I need a third person in here just to make this thing function. Now you're taking a rest and you're waiting for a partner to show up. Yeah, because there's no logs left, so you can't even make firewood. Mm. Okay. Now, if these guys would start doing some work, that uh, I, I wouldn't mind them taking these, these logs out. Which means I probably need to... Now, we are running a crew of five otherwise. Yeah, so the rest of the year, they could be working. Okay. So you're taking a rest. You're chopping a tree. So your buddy showed up. And you guys are taking over. Wild. Okay. All right, well, we'll keep you at the same uh, setup as the other ones. It is September. When we get to October, they'll go to a crew of five. And they will be taking our trees down here from now on. 
You're working on the farm? No, you're working on the forestry next. Right over there. So you're going to grab logs and haul them in. Now. Oh. Oh, this is building materials. No, it's not. What is that? I can't click on it. I guess it's building materials. Ah, oh, we've already brought timber over. Marifa. 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 Marifa buys our salt. Yeah. Okay. So, Marifa, let's give you everything you're willing to take. 4666 deal. Now, I gotta go over there. Marifa is the land trader. And salt for 5,000 salt over here. Um, how much room do we have in this one? Let's do... See, I can't get that to click over it. There we go. Um, we'll, we'll leave it there. I was going to do more for the next trade, since this is the one, the only one that we can trade it out of, but there might be something else I want to sell, Marefa, and we're, we'll have tied everything, everybody up into doing salt. But here's all the laborers saying, hey, I'll help with that. I'll, I'll help with that, too. So, selling sunflower, lime, dried fish. We'll keep it. Um, sunflower oil, we'll keep it. Buckwheat flour, we'll keep it. Sallow, chicken eggs, we're at 27. Enough for ourselves. Horseshoes, come on, stop resetting. Salt, iron, metal parts, flax. So nothing else to sell them. To buy from them, hemp and wheat. So, hemp, we got 1,000. Wheat, we got 5,000. Honey, we got 1,400 now. Textile, broadcloth, warm clothes, things they want to sell to us. So we're done with Marifa. That's it. Just the charcoal coming in. Okay. So you guys can handle all that. And lots of people want firewood right now. And this place doesn't have any. They will soon, though. Now we've got teams getting a wooden log and chopping a tree. We've got two teams now bringing logs in for the one person left to be making firewood. So we should be okay. You need to wait for another person to show up. And you're starting to make soap again. Good. Um, when you show up, you're just waiting. Supplying resources. And you're going right in there and grabbing the... Uh, I assume that's lie. Yeah, that's lie. So, yeah, having it stocked right there in that warehouse is perfect. And you guys made 50 soap and someone's already hauling that away to their store. Perfect. That's the way it's supposed to work. Um, are you guys still employed? Is that you? Yeah, Lime Works. So we've still got Quick Lime. And you, there's still 2,000 Quick Lime. So we probably have another year or two. And then we're done here. And there's no ex you know, angry exclamation point here. So I assume that you guys can work with a single person. So let's leave you at one person. And we'll get a little more time out of this building before it's no good anymore. Okay. So we got water there. Um, oh, I think I know where I was. Or do I? There was talk about getting a water platform for this farm. I don't know if that made it into the recording already or not. But let's see. If there is a bridge shooting across, then this should be a little bit further away like this. Right? Or if we go a little further away like this, then I'm, I'm trying to think about traffic flow. Where do I want them walking? Get beyond or do I want them coming back over here for no other reason? Yeah, let's go this side. So that bridge, if we do it, and that is an if, it would probably go to this point and then shoot across kind of like that. So you could be over here, but boy, that's steep. That is steep. Almost tempted to put you over here just to give them a reason across the bridge. That <laughs> might be kind of fun. But for now, we should probably do this just to make it happen. And then we can move it later. But yeah, that would force a road to be created to the bridge by putting it over there. Um, less efficient, of course, for this farm. 
All right, so you are down to two trees left and you are going to build. We're building the ashery even though we don't really need it. Um, but it's a industry building that will fill in a void over here and make this look more busy. So I like that. Okay. Um, otherwise, that's the farm and that is this row house over here. So what else needs to be done in town? Um, if we're going to put more houses in, they probably should be over here. I'm trying to think of the reason why. This came up in the comments. Well, more kids, for one. There's still no kids here. And it would give us more of a base to spread this way with, as far as workers within a certain distance to help continue expanding this way. Okay, you hired, you hired, and wool is down to 300 something. That feels pretty good. You're empty, and you're empty, so that's all done. You guys are all empty, everything's been brought in. Marifa, this game, I tell you, it just, it sends you waves of the same town over and over again. So you are, no, you already rode away. You were probably charcoal? No, you are buying salt, okay. Salt. Yeah, that is salt. Okay. That's not this one. So over here, we've got mead that's being hauled off. Okay. Over here, we got sallow. We bought 600. There's only 350 left, so that's all being hauled away. Potatoes, we bought 600. There's only 280 left. So yeah, they, they can definitely absorb it. And it adds food variety to our town, and I do like that. So... As far as new houses go, I think we fill this in before we open this new range up over here. So let's lay a few more of those out. And I honestly have no idea how much time is left in this episode. There's part of a video file sitting off somewhere else that I'll be starting this thing with and ending it with this one. This one is at 35 minutes. Was the other one up to 25 yet? I don't know. Let's lay out a couple of houses and call this done. Give me your thoughts on this. What would you do? Do we like it? Do we not? I think the corner, the archway in the corner would look better. And maybe I'll still do that. Let's lay out a few houses. This pathway has to get to here. So that has to get to that point. So let's do this upper range here. And can we do it? We do reach markets through here. Yes, we do. Okay. So if you were... Why did you land there? Okay. So we're heading for here. Looks like you could come down just a touch. And you could be a larger yard. Uneven terrain, so you will swing around to match the hillside. That fixes the terrain most often. This area is sloped like this, heading down toward the water. Actually sloped like this. Okay, so even a little bit further, like that, should work in most places. Because that's it's coming down the hill toward the water. So that needs to be in a place like that. And if I don't touch any of the points over here, I think we'll get a good variety of crops in that setup. Yeah, I, I was told it follows the corner of the lot to the corner of the house and, you know, d different patterns. But now, with the 5.5 update, that pattern is probably doubled somehow. So that there's, there's going to be lots of different weird little gardens in here. Okay, and with the house on the diagonal, that ought to really screw it up. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. All right, so you are really a funky end over here. We are cutting through here. I feel like maybe we should cut through here. And so maybe there should be a road there and then fill in the rest of this. No, this is a cut through here. So if we cut through here and then make them walk all the way down or cut through, that's probably good enough. The well is here. So I think that'd be the better cut through. Okay. So, yeah, you can stay there. We good? 
Don't really care for it. Can I get that back at all? I can if I go to there. A little further. Oh, there was a spot. And a little further. Okay, that's a little less extreme. Let's go there. And enter. And you. Let's move up right behind the farm. The forest tree has been cleared of trees. So, working on the ash tree, working on the platform, then the forest tree. And then we'll get to these houses after these are set up. Okay. So, let's do another one of those here. And rotate you around something like that. Connect you. And we're going to end this probably near that road. So take you like so, arcing around into there. That looks like we're getting there. And let's give that house next to you a little more room. Messenger from Balaklia, construction completed Ashery, and diet of illness. Hmm. Okay, you into here somewhere. Is that a good curve? I think that curve is working. I, let's go up just a tiniest little bit. Uneven terrain. And let's turn you a little more. Can we get away with it? We cannot. There was a spot. There. And if I go back, I think I lose even that. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to go with there. And... Enter. And one more. You're here. F1. You're going to... I could have been growing these out this way, though, couldn't I? I could have. If just to make a future... Yeah, I think I'll bump that out in between episodes. I'll see this when I'm editing it. Well, it's going to be a mess to edit right now. What I've done. Okay, so we could... We have a well here. That's probably not going to stay. This might be a good place for a well now. That's such an uneven yard area. Either here or here will be the well. This one will go away. And maybe this road will go straight down. We'll have a narrow little yard there. In which case, this could do something like this, and it just hit December. Let's do that. There's a little more room so we can aim down here and make a little more space for whatever's going to happen here. It's going to be a narrow little little place. But if we do something like that, and then you got to come down a little bit to look good here. Okay, platform is completed. And I think I like that. So let's rotate you back a little bit. And enter. Okay. So what all just happened? Balaklia, Ashery. Let's go there first. So you're in. I won't employ you just yet. But you're there. You are making lime, a lie. And we have built up. 200 so not much lie but we're not using much lie because there's very little tallow so i don't really need a second ash ring now except we could use it maybe for potash i think that's the plan when we get into the the pottery building and the glass works or, or what what have you okay so that one will be mothballed for a while okay and blocklia was it that is here now did I lose that already is visiting now wow I didn't think that much time had gone by okay it's it's not there okay well there's that so this one is not set in stone <laughs> let's Let's leave that. Let's delete this one and delete this one. Speed one. Oh, it was a long one. Um, yeah, I guess I've got no choice, but we've got a worn area now. Okay, so that I can use that. You go away and let's grab an arch. Uh, we'll grab this arch and rotate you like this. You've seen the other way. 
it won't be a true 45 because I want it to kind of face... Well, it needs to be a little more than that, though. I want it to face this entrance walking up into town. And drop you somewhere like... Where's all the wear? The wear ends at about there. So if we do this, then we're going to go from there to there. And you go away. And you go away. And I gotta quit hitting pause. And you go in from there to there. And that's off. But that's the idea. So, nothing to do with the entrance, but more to do with the position in town in this way. Otherwise, we're centered on the entrance. So, what are your thoughts? Do you like those or not? And I'd better, before I forget, get just a few more of you guys set in. So the pattern was there, there, and there. Okay, so we've got a little more occupancy in the cemetery. Okay, so I'm going to call this done here. I'm pretty sure I'm at an hour or over by now between these two halves of videos. Um, next time we will get to the forestry and we'll get to the new farm. It's December. Maybe we can pull that off. And then we'll start playing with these houses over in there. And I want to kind of tinker with those a little bit between episodes. And get those gardens planted, hopefully. Well, we may not. This may not happen by April. But there's a lot of trees to take out, so it probably won't happen. Yeah. Hesitant to go one more row house yet. I know we're pushing that balance. The food balance. Anyway, let's call this one done here, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.